Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and here we have a knife from Tacray, and it's pretty crazy, so we're going to figure it out together. So, I've taken a peek at it, but I have not really checked it out. I don't even understand how it works. I figured we'd do this right on camera because it looks crazy to me. And I see there's a button back here. Lock. And then it says nothing, so I'm guessing up is locked. Or maybe the, we'll find out. Um, we have thumb stud action, okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is a nice... It's like a, almost like a, not a spring, but I f feel, oh, there we go. Okay, so it's locked. Pretty cool in the hand. Um, I don't know how to unlock it, though. How do you? No. I have no idea. Oh wait, look at that. Okay, there's a spring on the spine of the knife. It looks, oh wow, okay, so it goes down into the groove right there. What does this thing do? Do you pop this? Oh, you pop it up, okay. So you pop this up and then push down and close it. Can I reverse flick it? I bet I could. Yes, I can. But now, what does this lock do? Okay, now it's locked. So, oh, so no, I can still disengage it. Maybe it just locks it closed. Oh. Okay, I do not know what the lock does. <laughs> it's cool, though. Uh, maybe it transforms into something because this thing, I don't know, it feels so, if, so unique. I've never seen anything like this, so. Um, well, let's take a quick look around it so you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing and then we will continue to, to try to mess with it. So I did notice that when the blade is disengaged, oh no, maybe I can push that up. I didn't think I could. I'm trying to see what this does on the inside, but I'm not really seeing anything because this thing goes around this part and you can see right where it locks in place. See how this, this, spr this is like a spring. It travels around and then it snaps right in place and it really pulls itself in. But then, what does that do? Is it? I can't unfold it without pulling back the spring very unique either way um but this has got to do something oh wait this is like a button right here wait wait wait, wait, wait. what is going on what does this do <laughs> it does something it pulled down ah like that I can feel there's a spring inside of here or so okay now that's locked <gasps> wait a second no never mind I thought maybe I could disengage it back here but I can't but this locks this button this locks this button but then what does that button do <laughs> this is so weird <laughs> oh my goodness ah uh, I just figured it out. Wow, that was so easy. So I started looking down into here and you can see there's like these tracks right there. So I learned like this thing folds somehow. Watch this. Wham! <laughs> that is so badass. Hell yeah. Now that's what's up and then you can lock it in place. So even if you, you can't push the button, so it can't disengage. So it's stuck. It's locked right now. Bam! That is so awesome. And then when you're ready, pop that up, swing it back, lock it in place. You know, um, we knives just recently did something similar to this um, that I got to try at Blade Show. I wanted to get one on the channel, but um, instead we got this one. Um, this is really cool. 
Very, very cool. So you have a pocket knife, right, for just regular everyday pocket, you know, knife stuff, whatever you need to use your work knife for. And it does lock so you can rapidly deploy it. Um, and then you just disengage it by lifting up the spine or the thumb stud right here. Just pull that up. It's pretty easy to disengage one-handed. And it locks in place nice and centered. You can reverse flick it. Ooh, and thumb flick it. My finger was in the way right there. But easily thumb flick. Like I said, the ergos are pretty good. Then, you know, obviously you just slap that. Ooh, no, way. I had it up. I had the wrong way. Hold on a second. That way, right? Yeah. There we go. So what if my blade is closed? Will that not work now? No. So you have... Okay. Oh, I guess you could do it all in one motion. Just pinch this and pull like this. Then you can get it right open all into one. Pop that down for security. Yeah, this is cool, man. You don't see things like this every day. I am so happy to see something so innovative and so different. You know, like I said, I know we recently did a knife similar to this. Um, not exactly the same, by the way. Not exactly the same, but it has some similarities. Um, but this one's a completely different animal than, th than that one. And I think it's very cool. But now... We need to see how this thing works in real life, right? We need to test it out. Let's test it out really quick and then we'll close this video up. All right, we have a piece of leather here from the other day's video. And we're just gonna just see if, how easily it punches through the leather and the cardboard with you know a light little punch, very very easily. This uh, blade shape is very much intended, you know, with puncturing in mind. You can see what type of damage it does to this is really thick leather two and a half millimeters thick leather you can see it just goes right through it effortlessly and just so you know this is only one of four knives they sent me so we have a few more very unique knives to check out um that we'll check out in a different video because you know this one's going to take up an entire video I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.